Hey everyone, my name is Daniel. And in this video, we'll take a look at how to improve your email formatting with Copilot Studio instructions. Because I know what we've been doing in the past. We will go ahead and leverage a cloud flow where we go ahead and get all the information that we need, use the help of things such as W3 schools or even now Microsoft 365 Copilot to get that HTML code. Then we go ahead and add that into a compose action and tweak it there a little bit and then finally raise that compose action into the body of a send email action. But before you go down that developer path, I want to show you how you can do this with absolutely no code by putting in the right instructions into the Copilot Studio agent. So stick around because this can save you so much time and the hassle to do development work. But first, here's my intro video. So let me just briefly walk you through this autonomous agent that I've already built. And if you're interested in a deep dive video, I've already done that in the past. The link is down in the description below. But here's a quick overview. In this autonomous agent, the first things I have are the instructions. Next, I have the knowledge, the tools, which is important. That is what goes ahead and sends the email. And then the trigger where somebody goes and fills a Microsoft form. So when the form is filled and submitted, the agent follows through these instructions. It has an initial description, step one, step two, but the final step is to go ahead and respond with the email. And for that, we go ahead and trigger this tool. So this is just a quick overview, but let me show you this agent in action. So for that, I come over here and I've already got a form populated with the name, email, and a question that this user is asking. I'll go and click on submit. When I do that, this is what triggers the autonomous agent to go and do all of this magic. So when we go back to the agent over here and we actually go and take a look at the activity, if I go ahead and refresh it, we will actually see the agent actually do its work. But the other place I wanna come is right over here. In my Gmail, any second now, I will get a response from the agent and that response is it'll go ahead and send me the information. Right over here, see the email just came through. Now when I go and click on it, this is what the body of the email looks like. Now, the information is solid because I'm actually getting provided everything that I asked the autonomous agent. But come on, I, I can't read this. And so this is what we are going to tweak just by adding some update to the instructions. So let's go do that one now. All right, so we're back in the agent now and we're gonna spend the next few minutes in this instruction section. So I'll click on edit and let's read through these instructions right now. This is the coffee machine agent's instructions. And I'm saying that you are the agent responsible for going and doing all this stuff. Users may ask about the machine names, average cups per week, average expressos per week, machine color and price range. Step number one, receive the inquiry. The inquiry comes from the Microsoft forms. So I'm actually calling that out. Step number two is go ahead and search the knowledge base. And the knowledge base I'm telling it is review the questions from the form and then search that against any of the uploaded files that I've added. In my case, it is an Excel spreadsheet, which is the knowledge. All right, so step number three, that's what we've got to tweak, but this is what's responding with the email. So already it's working really well because we saw the email go through. And this is what it's doing. It says use the Office 365 Outlook, send an email connector action to send the response with a polite and professional tone. And then if the information is found, then provide the details below. See, this is all there is about sending the email. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add more information over here. So I'm gonna just put one more blank space and here is what I'm putting in. It says, in the body, start with greetings and use the your name field in the coffee machine inquiry form. This is that Microsoft form. Then for format, use rich text or HTML format with links and even embedded images using image URLs. This is important, all right? This description over here. So let's just test this one because I want to come back and tweak it a little bit, but let's just test this one as a proof of concept. Again, I'll click on save. It is important that we actually go and click on the save. And then if you've already gone and published this agent to another channel, uh, then you will have to go and do this publishing as well, which in our case, we've got to do that. So I'm going to scroll up over here, click on publish, let the publishing finish. Because once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and fill out that form all over again and just see the whole thing in action. And this time we will notice a big change in the format of that email body. 
All right, cool. Publishing is completed. So now let's go back and do another demo. All right, um, I'm coming to the Microsoft form. I've already gone ahead and populated the exact same information that I did before. I'll go ahead and click on submit. The submit is completed. Once again, we would come back over here to the form. You will actually see the activity happen over here. All the triggering will happen successfully, and then it will also go ahead and use that tool. So what I will do is let's come back over here and just wait, right? Right over here in my Gmail, I should now receive a second email. I'm keeping the first one so we can actually use some comparison, but the second email should show up any second now. And there you go, right over here. You see that number two is shown up and in the inbox we see the new one. So when I click on it, you immediately notice the difference in the format. But let me show you a side-by-side -side comparison, all right? This over here is the first one. Simple text and it's all a little cluttered. But now in the second email, you can see the design is very crisp. I mean, now I'm actually able to see that the first batch is all about at-home coffee makers. And then below, we've even got commercial coffee makers. I never even noticed these two groups up in the first email that we got. And for each of them, the name of the copy is in bold text. There is a bullet over here, and then all of its metadata or information tied to the coffee maker. And it just goes away here, right? This is all the information we were able to pull from our knowledge. So I really, really like this design. Now, in addition, something we don't see over here, but you can too, is that if the information that you're pulling, if it has got a URL of an image, then because you've got rich text or HTML email format, that image actually gets embedded and you see the image, not just the URL. So try that on your side as well. You'll be pleasantly surprised. Now, when I scroll down over here, this is how the email ends. What I wanna do is tweak this just a little bit. So I'm gonna go back to my agent. I'm gonna come directly into the instructions, click on edit, and then right at the end of the step number three, I'm gonna also put this one other instruction, all right? I'm gonna scroll down again, and I'm gonna say this. It says, end all emails with Best regards, coffee caffeinated enthusiast team. I just thought I'd make it a little funny, even add an emoji over here, but this is the signature that I want. So now again, I'll go and click on save because it is an autonomous agent. It has triggers and everything. Um, I'm also gonna go and do a publish. We'll wait for this publishing to finish. I'll go ahead and submit another form and we'll see if the final signature piece also has changed. Publishing is done. Let me go back into our Microsoft form. I already have all these fields pre-populated the exact same way. I'll go and click on submit. Once the submitting is completed here, you know what happens. That will trigger this autonomous agent. We will be able to see all the activity that's going on over here. And then we will get our final email. So I'm just gonna come over here. And I'm gonna wait because we will see that third email come through any second now. And there you go, the new email is here. You can see the number three, but the one just shows that there's a new email. So when I go and click on it, the one at the bottom, that is the final email. So we've already seen all of this, but if I scroll down, this is the final signature. You see his best regards, it says coffee caffeinated enthusiast team. So I've just given you some ideas of how you can make your signature a lot more fun or even professional. You can even put some icons, links over here, but this will actually complete the overall rich text format of your body. So not bad, huh? We were able to change something from here into this entire nice rich text format with absolutely no code using only the instructions. So I know what some of you are thinking because I thought of that too, is that everything we did over here was based on Outlook and its send email action. Can we do this for Microsoft Teams as well for say it's post a message action? And the answer to that is no. Teams is a whole separate beast altogether. And if you want to post in a conversation with using adaptive cards, then for now, it's best that you do that on the Cloudflow site. Thought I'd pass that information over to you. But hopefully this video was useful to you because now this way you can consider improving the body of some rich text HTML format with absolutely no code, just tweaking the instructions. And as always, keep using Copilot Studio. Hey, if you have a few seconds, can you click on that like button and even consider subscribing it because it's just two easy clicks for you but boy, it makes a big difference for me. Also, if you don't mind, can you put in a comment below? Because that really boosts this video up to reach a higher audience. And once again, thank you for watching this video.